Hey everyone, it's Mike here from FilterGrade, and today we're going to be continuing our drone video series by talking about how to get your trust certification from the FAA. This is a free test you can complete to show that you understand how to safely and legally fly your drone in the United States. It's for recreational flyers only. There's separate things for people who are going to commercially fly a drone, whether it's to capture video or do other commercial aviation type work with drones. For that, we'll talk about that in future videos as it relates to like capturing video content. Right now though, we have a drone that's under 0.5 pounds, I believe, or it's something around that weight. I'm gonna check the exact number and we'll put it in the video, but I think it's 250 grams in grams. And when you have a drone under this amount, you don't need to technically register it unless you're doing commercial work. If it's just for recreational work, you know, filming fun videos, test flights, things of that nature, then you can just register it as recreational. And so we're gonna talk about that in this video today. TRUST stands for the Recreational UAS Safety Test. It's a free online test that all recreational drone flyers in the United States need to pass to comply with the FAA regulations. When you're first starting out, you can you know test out your drone, whatever, but it's good to get this as soon as you can. Because once you have it, if you ever do have any issues when you're flying your drone, depending on where you are, or if you run into police or other types of personnel, you can show them your certificate to prove that you're safely and legally flying a drone in the United States. The issue is, it might not be airspace that's approved. So we're gonna also talk about some places where you can find out how to safely fly your drone in a place where it's designated and it won't be banned or getting in the way of things like airports, major cities, or other things that could get you in legal and other types of trouble. Why do you need this test? You might be thinking, oh, I don't need this. I only fly my drone every so often. And that could be true. If you're staying somewhere extremely rural and maybe you're just flying on your property all the time, I don't necessarily think you need this. However, it's always a good idea to learn safety regulations and other regulations around your drone. Flying a drone isn't something like simple, like just like holding a camera in your hand. You know, it's going in the air. It could get in the way of helicopters, other things in the air, planes, whatever, you know, and because of that and the other security implications, it's a good idea to really take precautions and really understand what you're getting into. And so I would recommend anyone to take this test as early as you can once you start flying a drone. It only takes about 20 to 30 minutes. It's completely free and you'll understand a little bit better about what the US and local regions think about how you should fly your drone and safely doing it. How to get your trust certification. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate to the Federal Aviation Administration website or the FAA and research a bit about this. When you're on there, you can understand what trust is and why they made it. It's specifically for recreational drone flyers and it's a pretty simple 30 minute test you can take online or in person in a few locations if you want to show that you're certified and also to legally fly your drone in the United States. Basically, what you wanna do is go down here on the list where it says list of FAA approved test administrators. Scroll down and look for UAV coach. Then you'll open up a new page. And when you get there, you're going to be able to see a little bit more about what they're offering. They offer the trust test on their website. It's very easy. You just click get started. And once you do that, you fill out your name and information. As you can see right here, it says first, pl pre please provide your name and email for the certificate. Make sure when you put your name, you put your full legal name because this is gonna be the certificate that you're you know, showing to people such as you're you know, a police officer or some other security personnel. Next, you click submit. And then once you click that, you'll be loaded onto the next page, which basically takes you through the entire test. As you can see on my screen, I've already done it, so it's showing 100% done. But when you get to the first page, it'll say welcome and course overview. And this is where you get started. It's going to tell you a little bit about the background and then you just go through all the sections and take all the tests. They're very simple, like five to 10 question, multiple choice tests. And it's just to show that you understand what you were reading in the lessons and that you know how to safely fly your drone. Once you get to the end, you'll see the completion confirmation. Basically, this just says that you actually did it and it then shows your finished certificate. Once you have that, you're going to want to download the file save it to your computer, save it to your phone, save it everywhere that you can because you never know when you're gonna need it and you might not have your physical copy. I also recommend printing a physical copy because it's good to show that in person when you're flying your drone in case anything comes up.
Once you complete your recreational UAS safety test, this is what you'll get as your certificate. Print up a copy, and then whenever you fly your drone, I recommend keeping this on you just in case anything comes up. Alright, so that's it. That's how you get your drone certification for the recreational drone flying in the United States of America. I hope you liked that video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks so much.